Hello dear students, now we are continuing our uh, so problem solving from the section electric charges. So our next question is that for point charges QA is equal to 2 micro coulomb, QB is minus 5 micro coulomb, QC 2 micro coulomb and QD which is again minus 5 micro coulomb are located at the corners of a square ABCD with side 10 centimeter. What is the force on one micro coulomb charge placed at the center of this square? So we have to draw the diagram and we have to mark the points A, B, C, D. Okay. So, so our solution is like this. So we have So we have a square, you can just mark the corners A, B, then C, D. Okay. And there is a charge at the center O, which is 1 micro coulomb. Here we can just say at A the charge is 2 micro coulomb, at B it is minus 5 micro coulomb. At C it is again 2 micro coulomb, at D it is again minus 5 micro coulombs. Okay. So these are the charges and the length, side length is 10 centimeters. Okay. Now we have to find what is the force acting on this charge at the origin at the center O. Okay. So we have to find the length of uh, the diagonals AC and BD. Since this is a square, so this is the one diagonal AC and the second diagonal will be this one. Okay, And since each side, uh, since it is a square, all sides have the same length 10 centimeters. And now we can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the length AC. So just the substitute that the length AC is equal to root of AB the whole square plus BC the whole square. Okay, the value of AB is 10 square plus 10 square. That is root of 2 times 10 square. So 10 into root 2 centimeters that is the length of this diagonal and that should be equal to BD also. So AC and BD is equal to 10 times root 2 centimeters. Okay. Now we have to find the distance to the center or the point O at the center. Okay. So since this is a, at the center you can fi just find the value AO it should be is equal to AC by 2 because it is at the midpoint of the diagonal. So this will be 10 root 2 by 2 centimeter or you can just write that 5 root 2 centimeters. And the values of all uh, the distance to the center from all the corners that is AO must be equal to BO that must be equal to CO and that must be equal to BO and all these will become 5 root 2 centimeters. Now we have to find what is the force acting on the charge 1 micro coulomb due to the charge at A. So I am just writing representing this as force on the charge O due to the charge at A. F O A. Force on the charge at O due to the charge at A. This is given by the relation 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Q1 here Q1 is 2 micro coulomb. Q2 that is 1 micro coulomb by 5 root 2 the whole square. Okay. And look at that. This 2 micro coulomb and 1 micro coulomb both are like charges. Hence the force is repulsive in nature. Okay. So the force will be in this direction. Okay. Now the force 
acting on the same charge o due to the charge at c again same like this 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the charge at c is 2 micro coulomb and charge at o is 1 micro coulomb and the distance is 5 root to itself so look at that this two expressions are identical so here also the force is repulsive so the force acting on o due to the charge 2 micro coulomb should be in this direction so these two forces that is f o a and f o c they are having same magnitude but acting in different direction so hence they will cancel with each other okay now consider the point uh, or the force at o due to or the, uh, the point b so i'm just writing f o b that is force acting on charge at o due to the charge at b so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 here also q1 or charge at uh, b is minus 5 micro coulomb and charge at o is 1 micro coulomb the distance is same phi root to the whole square so look at that these charges are uh, opposite one is positive and other is negative so this is attractive in nature so the force towards b is in this direction force on o due to b is in this direction and the force on the charge at o due to the charge at d which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 charge at d is again minus 5 micro coulomb charge at o is 1 micro coulomb the distance is same phi root to itself so this is also attractive that is the point the charge at o is attracted towards b and it's also attracted towards d okay and these two forces are having the same magnitude but they are acting in opposite directions hence they also cancels with each other so the force on o due to a is cancelled by force on o due to the charge at c and force acting on o due to uh, the charge at b is cancelled by force acting on o due to the charge at d so all these forces are getting cancelled hence the net force acting at the charge o charge at o is zero okay so net force acting on charge 1 micro coulomb at o is zero because all the forces are cancelling with each other okay thank you